Hello guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be covering Form 5 Bab Duet which is Record Talent Gap with you guys. So for Record Talent Gap, we actually have two different types of Kaeda to solve your question. So we have Kaeda Perbandingan, we also have Kaeda Analysis. So the highly requested one of course would be Kaeda Analysis because Kaeda Perbandingan is considered the easier one because you only have three steps to do which these three steps are considered super basic. So right here, I'll be listing out for you guys. For Kaeda Perbandingan, the first step you gotta do, put it down over here, your first step is going to be Chari Modo. So how are you gonna find Modo out? Your formula is going to be Asset minus Liability. That is how you Chari Modo. So if you have forgotten why we find Modo using this way, it's because in Form 4 Bab Duo, we learn that this thing called persamaan per ekanan. Your formula is asset equals to liability plus equity per minute. So by having these formulas, while you want to find equity per minute, what you do, just follow Matt's way. Move your liability over towards asset. So what will happen to your liability? Instead of positive, it will now become negative which is why your first step is going to be chari model using a minus l okay now for the second step how are you gonna find your untung rugi then okay so through the question they will give you ambulan dengan model tambahan so for your second step is going to be using reverse equity permanent format so what is reverse equity permanent now our ep format is what in your pkk you will have model awal tambah untung atau tolak rugi bersih minus ambilan. You get your model out here, right? But now, the problem is, within this formula, the missing item right now is our untung bersih. So, if untung bersih is the missing item, what should we do about it? You will go reverse method to find back the original. Because since we have model out here from our part 1, step number 1, so how are we going to find back? Just reverse the whole thing, then you should find the missing item, which is untung per se right there. Finally, number three, your third step is going to be doing PKK, which is a very basic thing you learn since form four. No changes to it, just recognize your item according to its classificasi. Label them by ABS, AS, LS, LBS dengan EP. Then you should be good to go to complete your PKK. So coming up, we're going to talk about Kaida analysis. Now this Kaida is much more complicated compared to Kaida perbandingan. Now as much as they present to you that you only have dua langkah to do, which is account perdagangan dan untung rugi dengan PKK, there is actually much more to it. There's a lot of details that you need to take care of whenever you're solving record talent cup dengan kaeda perbandingan. So you guys gotta be aware, I'm gonna show you guys where are the hidden items and I'm gonna demonstrate to you all within a sample question. So let's see the next screen. Oh yeah, if you're interested to do it together with me, make sure you download the link at my description box. Do it alongside with me, you will learn something from this video. Let's go to the next screen. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you guys an example of how you should solve your Kaeda analysis. So as long as you follow my step, it should be no problem for you. Alright, so let's start from the first step. Now, the first step of solving Kaeda analysis uh, is always to chari bank. So what does it mean by chari bank? You gotta realize first whether in this question itself, is there any baki of bank? Or HP given or not. So both baki you gotta have it lah because it will lead you to your PKK. So this is the first thing. Now what we will do is look at this question. They gave you 1st July baki baki. So all these below are considered baki BB. And in this list inside we do have a tunai di bank. So please don't get fooled by it. This is actually bank because tunai in the bank. The cash is inside so it's considered banks baki BB. 2105. Now I'm just gonna highlight it for you guys because I want to show you but then during the exam you don't have to highlight it okay. So we have a Baki BB already but do we have Baki HP? You see the question is very standard. If they were to give you Baki they can only give on top bottom or else together side by side 1st January 31st December. So right now as you can see there isn't any Baki HP together with the Baki BB. So where is it gonna be? Very typical at the bottom right here. 
30 June 2 X7. So for 30 June 2 X7, all these are considered Baki HB. Did you guys see that they put an Baki D bank with an X over there? So what are you supposed to do for them? Go and help them solve it and find the Baki HB out. So to do that, very basic you guys see uh, our whole question will only have two sections that you can find items from the first section is our baki area which then now they split to two parts okay upper bottom so if you want baki bb look up at the top you want baki hp look down at the bottom but what if you want belanja ataupun hasil then you will look from this area which I would like to call it as bank so even though they didn't say it's a bank but did you see buku tunanya menunjukkan butir butir very good and there is only one type of penerimaan dengan one type of pembayaran which means that this is actually our account bank so I'm going to split into half how are we supposed to find out our bank's buggy HP? simple just remember to start from 2105 your baki hour use your calculator 2105 okay add on whatever you see now on the burnery maan side which is now currently you have gotten 32595 if you were to add these two together these two sections then lastly, to find Baki HP, you just need to minus off all your pembayaran. So minus 875,800 and go on. Alright, so what number did you guys able to get? You should be able to get your Baki bank to be 7740. So this is the first step you should do. Now this first step is not finished yet. We still have one small part to finish. Other than just finding the bank's Baki HP, you also have to cherry model our for future preparation, which is your PKK later on. So how can you cherry model our? Just use back your Kaida perbandingan method. A minus L. Take from entire our section. Right here. So how are you supposed to deal with it? Very simple. Just label them by classification first. So right here, whatever that is asset, you would go ahead and plus them while whatever that is liability minus. Go ahead and find out how much is your model hour. So by doing that, you should be able to get 14860. This is what we call model hour. So that is your first step. Okay, second step is going to be doing pelarasan. So because I want to keep this video short, I will be only covering the parts where it's hidden. So pelarasan, they are hidden. There are a lot of ways they can come up with. But I want to say mostly hidden ones will can only be found at baki area sahaja. So your baki area, you have upper part, you also have the bottom part. How do we sense? whether there is pelarasan or not. Very simple, you start from the Baki Awa area. Did you see any suspicious things such as belanja ataupun hasil tegurang belebe? As in prabaya, belum bayar. Belum terima dengan belum terpoleh. Did you guys see them? Now, don't tell me these two are... No, no, no. These two are account belum terima, our customer. This one? is our supplier so they are humans they are not belanja dengan hasil so there isn't any up here so we'll go ahead to the bottom part where we have our baki hp baki hp did you guys see any of them suspicious thing you guys should be able to see it's here gaji belum bayar dengan insurance prabaya so i will always tell my students please go ahead and put the star on so that you will remind yourself to do the belarsan so how are you supposed to do the belarsan go on just use your usual way. Up here, tahun. Year and if it's too little, belum bayar. Too little, add it into your gaji. So that's why this 200 ringgit will be moved into gaji. 2200 will now be changed into 2400. So once you've done so, this label as belanja. Done. Second hidden belarasan is our insurance prabaya. So prabaya is an asset semasa, also known as prepaid. We paid early for the next tempo, so it's not considered for this year. What should we do? Minus it out from your insurance. So this 30 ringgit 
minus out from insurance 240 how much will it become so 240 minus 30 our insurance sebenar untuk tempo ini adalah 210 belanja done so these two hidden ones are done already you think that's all no you're thinking too easily we still have one more hidden types that is all our penilaian semula so let me write them out for you what is the formula of penilaian semula and what is the usage for it this will only be on your asset bukan semasa because penilaian semula is to find susut nilai so to find sn the formula is to take bagi awal of your abs tambah dengan belian baharu of abs tolak jualan abs tolak h b so right now which of them have penilaian semula we will assume first you check from the top here we have how many types of abs van and lengkapan so we go by van first van is 8400 so you go ahead to the bottom of your baki hp how much has your van became 7560 yes van will have susut nilai dalam penilaian semula so the way to check is to see whether it's baki bb and it's baki hp is different because as an asset bukan semasa their cost should remain the same no matter what so the reason for it to being a different figure is because they want you to find out the sn and snt in between of it so other than that uh, other than that does lengkapan kedai also have susut nilai through that way you guys can check now lengkapan kedai at the end of the year is 2250 meanwhile at the top lengkapan kedai was 2150 okay so what's happening right now what should we do uh? both of it we do the belarsan for them so in order to find their susut nilai we just need the baki bb so i start from sn van dahulu equals to okay baki bb of van is how much here we have 8400 Okay, so you bring that down, 8,400. Then next, we're going to check, is there any beli ataupun jual of van? You look around on the penerimaan side, no van, okay, pembayaran, also no van. So means that we never bought new one, but this 8,400 has now became baki HP of 7,560, which means that our susut nilai is going to become 840. This is our SN and as well as our SNT. So just a reminder, every time after you changed, after you found your SN, you have to make sure that you change this van back to its original amount, which is 8,400 as the cost. Because the reason they give you 7,560 is only for you to find SN. Once you're done with it, you don't need the 7560 anymore because when you do your PKK, you just need to know what is your cost, 8400, what is your SNT, 840. That is the reason for you to get your nilai puku to be 7560. That is the reason. Okay, coming up, we're going to do for SN lengkapan. So I'll just suggest you guys to put it in short form because it's much more faster. So susun nilai lengkapan, start from is baki BB first, 2150. 2150. If I add on, do you guys see there is a lengkapan kedai right here which we bought a new one? So we don't need this inside the bank anymore. I will instead add it together with our cost itself. So now this is the new cost actually. Our new cost is within this bracket and I will compare it to lengkapan kedai right here. 2250. So if you compare it, 2150 plus 350 uh, is equal to 2500. Minus 2250 means that our susut nilai lengkapan is actually 250. So this is our belanja. At the same time, it is also our SNT. So right after you have done with this, do you remember what we did just now? Replace the Baki HP amount into our cost. This one is nilai buku. I don't need to keep it. I will need the brand new amount to be used under PKK. So this is how you solve your hidden belarsan. And now the final step. Number three that I haven't covered with you all is account kawalan. But this account kawalan le is depends on question itself. Sometimes the question will straight away tell you 
menyediakan akaun kalian ataupun they will ask you mengirakan jumlah jualan dengan belian which means that you will have to prepare this. So once you are done with account kalian, then you can go ahead and start your account perdagangan dan untung rugi dengan PKK already. So when you find info for account kalian, make sure you understand account kalian only applies to ABB dengan ABT. So where are those? I'm going to circle it up for you guys to see. Eh? ABT, here. Baki BB. ABB, also here. Baki BB. So both the account kalian will have its own Baki BB already. Moving on, the basic item is we gotta have bank inside account kalian, which is our customer paying. Do you see this? Penerimaan daripada ABT. We're gonna label it as bank. From the debit side of bank, we're gonna do a catatan bergu to account belum terimas credit side. Meanwhile, for account belum bayar, same situation. From the credit side of bank, you're going to do a catatan bergu, bring it to the debit side of that account itself. So once settled with Baki BB Bank, we're supposed to end with Baki HP. But I'll make sure that you guys check first. Is there any pulangan belian, discount or such thing like that to happen? So in this question, none. That's why you will end them with Baki HB, both then you would be able to find your jalan dengan belian credit lah. So you guys, go ahead and do the account kalan for this part. Part A. Mengira belian dan jalan bagi tahun perkenaan. Once you found already, then make sure to add them on into your jualan tunai dengan belian tunai to form a jumlah belian dengan jualan. So that you can do your AKP dan you are smoothly all the way until PKK. So, end of Kaida analysis. Now, actually, it's complicated because you guys don't know where to find it. But actually, once you follow my steps, cari bank, cari model awal, hidden pelarasan from where? Always from Baki area. And then the non-hidden ones are in maklumat tambahan. That's why I didn't cover them. So, this question you see, there isn't maklumat tambahan out. But why I still got pelarasan to do? Because they have hidden them under the Baki area. So, make sure always check Baki area. See any suspicious item or not, especially who? The kurang, the lebih of belanja dengan hasil and also your ABS. You check whether they are front and the back number. Are they the same or not? If same, no penilaian similar. But if it's different, means that you gotta follow this penilaian similar method to solve them. End of story. Okay, so I hope to see you guys on the next chapter that I'm gonna cover. So, Make sure to subscribe and like my video or maybe you can suggest for some chapters that you would like me to do. I will try my best to cover it for you guys. Bye-bye!